Hi everyone, welcome back to my unboxing videos. It has been a while. Today, we are going to unbox a monitor that I have had my eyes on for a while. And it is from Xiaomi. Um, it's been a um, quite a mission for me to find a good monitor that for work and that also helps me maximize my efficiency and productivity. In the past, I used to have um, two screens side by side. I also had um, a laptop on the left side and then a, a monitor on the right side. And all these settings um, used to work very well for me, but I just wasn't wasn't really happy, 100% um, happy with these, with these setups. So at the moment, I've changed my setup to a um, dual vertical screen. So I got a 24-inch monitor on the top and then my laptop on the bottom, and it's been working quite well. However, I do want to achieve more of my productivity and efficiency with a larger, wider screen so that I could actually see more reports at the same time and do more things um, uh, at the same time. In the past, I had an LG um, ultra wide monitor as well, but then again, it was a flat screen, so the viewing, viewing angles were a bit awkward when you look at the two ends of the screens. Um, it's, it, 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 um, it was great, but but you know the, the, the angle made me quite a bit um, my eyes a bit tired and um, I sit quite close to the monitor so it, it didn't really work quite well. So this time here I got a curved screen so um, hopefully it will help with that problem. And um, I decided to go with Xiaomi this time. Xiaomi has always been a great brand. I read so many good reviews about this product and also watched so many videos about this product and decided to go for this one compared to other screens. Um, I did look at other screens as well, other options, but um, I decided to go for Xiaomi because at the price point and look at all the reviews, I can see that it was a winner for me. Um, no question asked. At the same time, now at this right now is a Boxing Day sale in New Zealand. I managed to snap it at um, $690 from PB Tech um, from the retail price of um, $799, which I think is quite a good deal. So today we are going to unbox a Xiaomi curved gaming monitor. 34 inches and I will tell you why um, I chose this screen and my initial thoughts on, on this setup um, towards the end of the video. So without further ado, let's do this. Before, when you um, unbox a um, screen, always check to see when it says uh, which side is up. For example, here in this um, um, box here, they, they, they have a sign that say this side up. So that's what you should do when you do unboxing, when you unbox your, your, your monitors. Always look for a um, this side up sign so you know where to put your screen um, on the floor, or on the ground, or on the surface correctly and to avoid any damage if you, not, if you don't do it correctly. Right, so look out for a sign that says this side up and i show you on, on this one here where it is. So this is right here. It's called says this side up and, and don't um, just follow it. Don't don't do otherwise because um, thing will just fall out. So watch out for that's the sign that say this to help this sign up right here. Be careful when you open it, don't swing things around. 
Anyway, uh, it comes with a, um, what do you call it here, power cable, of course. It's New Zealand, so we got a um, New Zealand plug. Let's see what's in here. So of course, you have all these normal, quick manual and, I don't know, paperwork, I just call it paperwork. Because it's got all these. So you can see that uh, it comes with a display port cable. So not, H not HDMI, I'm quite disappointed. So this play port cable. Um, these are all the screws and so this one here is, is a, um, a thumb screw and these are the patch studs together with Walmart screws. So I don't need the Walmart screws. Um, don't know if I need the patch studs or not. Um, we'll see. But I think we may need to use a thumb screw. We'll see. Right, so this is base. Whoa, it's quite heavy. I love heavy bases because it makes it so steady. The old has very really good bases, I, I reckon. Alright. So I can see that here it is made. This surface is with uh, is made with plastic, I think. But very really solid, really, really beautiful. Matte finish, beautiful. There we go. So we got the uh, second part of the base, and I think is when you use the thumb screw. Yep, that's right. So you use a thumb screw to screw in the base together. And I love I love the design of this base as well because you can actually have the, the cables to go through this hole here and then it goes out this way so that you can organize your cables nicely so it doesn't go everywhere. So you got the front here where you put in the cable and then the back here they got the cable coming out. I, I love it. Um, really good design. Um, that's why I love Xiaomi. Their design is always on top of others being uh, compared to other um, companies. So I don't know how to do this the correct way. I would say lie down like this. Right. So that it's all on a flat, flat um, surface. And then you can just easily put it together. Solid, beautiful. I don't think we have to use any of the other screws because, uh, from what I've read so far, it is a snap on um, mount, I think. So we'll see, we'll see. There you go. So we've got the base set up. Very simple, easy. You don't need any screwdriver or anything, which is great. I love it. And um, I just put this here on the side. You have a new monitor, never take everything out, okay? Never take everything out. Especially not the um, not the screen itself because you want to mount it when it's still um, in the position, the default position, so that you don't have to be awkward when you mount the, 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 the base to the monitor. So always leave the monitor on, so on in, in this default state. Don't take it out, don't take everything out, just put together the base and then you mount the base onto the monitor when it's still in the box. Yeah, that's what it's designed for, right? So you see here, um, I can show you here it is the, uh, the mount. Um, looks like this, but this is the mount here. I hope you can see it. So make sure that um, it's all clear before you mount it. I, I just put it like this so you can see how I mount. But usually you can just put it underneath the sun, the, the kind of protective bag here. Um, but I will just do this here so you can see how I do it. And keep it, you just don't break it. 
here. So what I do now is I will just put the base on, touch it by. So you can see that here the latch is actually down here. And this is where you hook it. So you hook it first and then you snap it on. Snap on. That's us. There you go. So when you push it down, make sure that it is there's a snap um, sound. And you can if it doesn't go all the way in, then you have to pull the latch down yourself. So in my case, yeah, I, I push very hard. I don't want to like, push it too hard and the latch didn't go in by itself so I actually have to pull the latch down by, by myself manually but I guess if it works correctly then it can just snap in right away in my case here yeah, I had to do it manually it still works though so you pull the latch down and then now you can see that it can, um, you can you know it's, it's quite securely um, snapped in Yeah. Right, so after snapping the base in, you can actually now take the screen out and don't worry about the bag for now, just find a good area that you can put the screen right on top. In my case here, yeah, I don't have any, so I, it will be a bit awkward for me to pull it out, but I will manage. So just as usual, just take it out So after you put your screen on a surface, a flat surface, and you're all secure and all tidy, uh, what you can do now is you can remove the, um, the bag, protective bag, and this is the best part. So I'll show you the best part of the process. Here, revelation. There you go. Beautiful. You can see that this is a wide ultra wide angle beautifully matte finish and we'll take a look at the um, ports and a bit of closer look right now and you've got all the buttons on this side right here so it's where you find all the, um, the, the, the button right there um, and then below here you see all the ports so, so this is a magnetic snap-in protective kind of lift for the ports and you see here we got HDMI 1 and then HDMI 2 and now you can see that and then we got here DP1 and then DP2 this one here is for the headphones so not many jacks here and then on this side we got AC in so this is where the power goes there you go this is where the power goes so not many ports here DP and HDMI. So four, um, two HDMI's and two DP ports, one headphone jack, and one power port. And this lid here is magnetic, so you can just snap it in quite nicely. It's quite strong, though. You actually have to pull it out very, very hard. And here you got all the uh, buttons. And there you go. And this is what it looks like. In the back. Works nice. Very tidy. So, what do I think? I think I actually like it. Love it. It is great. It works very well with what I want it to do. 
multitasking is really easy on this screen. I can actually use two to three apps at the same time without compromising the sizes, um, not having any weird shaped windows, or I don't have to switch from one app to another constantly. And that alone adds 100% to my productivity, which is very important. When I work, I don't want to have any interruption at all and switching apps and apps constantly makes it really hard to focus and it sort of breaks my workflow. So I, I always like to have good real estate for my apps and this screen does it very well. Um, quite often I look at reports a lot, usually two to three reports at the same time and having to compare numbers from one to another. Um, so having able to, being able to view two to three reports at the same time is like a, a dream come true. Just so good. So the colors are great. I love the colors. Uh, really good quality panel. Watching movies on this monitor is amazing. Um, and the fact that the monitor is a 20 by 9 ratio, so it fits very well with cinema movies um, so when you watch movies on this screen there's no black edges at all and i find that if i watch it within half a meter away from the screen it gives me the best results best colors best viewing angle and everything is just really beautiful so i would recommend you to do that um, Another thing is that I would recommend watching 4K videos, movies on this screen because I think that um, 1080p is not good enough to utilize this screen to the fullest. There's one thing that I want to complain about, not exactly a weakness, but I think it just bugs me in the sense that the brightness is not really up to my standard in the sense of it only goes up to 300 nits um, and sometimes it could be a bit darker than my MacBook, MacBook Air screen so I wouldn't recommend this um, to you if you work or play in a really bright environment because it will wash off the colors and the, the image personally what I think um, my my studio is really dark, so and I'm working in dark a lot. So for me, it's um, it, I can see things really clearly. But if you work in a very bright environment, um, and that's why you, you you feel comfortable, um, then I don't think this is a screen um, for you. But then again, it is my personal personal preference. So this is just a personal preference. I would say you have to try it for yourself to see whether it worked for you or not um, and you know we just have to, to see how it goes I am not using this for gaming so um, I can't comment or test any games on the screen here in my studio but it is a gaming monitor by nature it was designed for gaming so I believe that it would have uh, give you great experience gaming on this monitor it has all the top specs for gaming, so I don't think there should be anything to complain about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're looking for this screen in particular, I hope you found what you are looking for. Um, if you already have one, um, please do comment below what, how you find the screen, the monitor, so that others may be able to see your opinion on it whether you like it or not so that they can make a decision um, so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to leave a like comment below and I would really appreciate that so goodbye and take care